at 58 years old, Festus Gonta Primary School is one of the oldest public schools in Swakopmund. It is attended mostly by children from Mondesa and the impoverished DRC informal settlement. Headmaster Lengi Abraham says valuable teaching and learning resources are a challenge for the school to attain, which is why donors are deemed so essential. Until now, more than 1,000 learners at the school were forced to share a single computer with their teachers when they needed to do research. That's a disaster. <laughs> That's not nice. Like, we are a lot, we have to share, like, we have to wait, like, until we five, we have to share, like, the computer. It will, it will even take us a lot of time. Like, sometimes we can, you know, even if you can't face, but when a teacher comes inside, you need to stand up so that the teacher can sit. It was very difficult. Moreover, computer lessons could only be taught theoretically until the basal read donation. When one is talking about the computer box, the mouse, the what, learners are not able to not to really to figure out quickly what is it. Especially, uh, is the fact that most forty percent of our kids are coming from houses where. You cannot find a computer or a laptop there. But with the facility now at our disposal, it is easy because the kid will be able to touch what the teacher is teaching them. We as mining contractors are here to develop the new Namibians, maybe possibly into the mining careers. And like you said, this 18 units that we've currently donated is our way of giving back to the community, saying thank you for allowing us to do this the primary school principal has called on the private sector to support disadvantaged schools with learning resources. Renata Ringura, NBC News, Swakopmund.